Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh. Sangha Ji, we've heard how the Singh's effective attacks against the regime resulted in Zakaria Khan submitting a report to Emperor Muhammad Shah and requesting recognition of Khalsa as a power in Punjab. Instead of attacking the Singhs, he switched his tactics and offered a peace treaty or a samajalta, which included offering ik lakh jigir land revenue. Also, up until this moment, Zakaria Khan had placed a price on the head of every Sikh, resulting in many being shaheed, travelling and doing darshan of Itahasik Gurdwari. Zakaria Khan gave his word that this would be stopped and that the Khalsa would once again freely visit and do seva of the Tarmuk Asthans that had deteriorated over the years. At the Sarbat Khalsa of Visakhi 1733, after a lengthy discussion, it was decided that the Khalsa would accept this peace treaty. And we heard this in detail in last week's episode. Now the time had come, Sangaji, to decide which Singh should be given the Nawabi, the title of leadership. This Nawab would have half the power in Punjab. Through this tactic, Zakaria Khan was expecting to win over the Singhs. Instead, what happened is the Panth used this to their advantage and actually strengthen and develop the Panth through Amrit Prachar and the formation of the Dal Khalsa. Basically, the exact opposite of what the regime wanted to happen. During this time, there were great Gorsiks present in the Diwan and initially they all turned to the respected Jathadar, Baba Darbara Singhji the Diwan of Guru Gobind Singh Sahib Ji Maharaj, the Hazuri Sikh who was blessed with Amrit from the hands of Maharaj themselves. The Gursikh said that you Jathidar Ji, you are worthy of becoming our Nawab. Now Sangha Ji, compare Baba Ji's response to our leaders of today. Darbara Singh Agyo Kehi Asi Nibabi Kad Chaha Lai Ham Ko Satgur Bachan Patshai Ham Ko Japat Teg So Ahi Baba Darbara Singh Ji said that Guruji has promised us Pat Shai, Khalsa Raj, and we will do Raj. Ham Pat Shai Satgur Dei Hanna Hanna Lai Jah Jah Bah Jameen Mal Teh Teh Takt Banai. Each and every Singh will be sovereign. Wherever a Singh settles on this earth, they will raise a Takt in the name of their Guru. Why settle for anything less? What is the need for this Nawabi? And plus, no one will just give us a Raj. We need to fight for it and get it ourselves. They passed the Nawabi on to the other Gursik, who said the same. Sanu nahi chahida. And then on to the other Sikh. Again and again, these days, even the smallest role or rewards from the government, and we end up fighting each other for it. However, these things were kicking the Nawabi around like a football. Seeing this, Pai Subega Singh Ji intervened. He said, Khalsa Ji, have a think first. The regime are being clever, and therefore you need to be one step ahead. Understand the political situation. You're being offered a Raj. Be smart. Take it. Do Raj of half of Punjab for now. Deliver peace and justice to half the population. And Kwegalni with Guru Sahib Ji's Kirpa, the other half will come soon. Paatshai, complete sovereignty will follow soon. Use this to your advantage, Pai Subeg Singh Ji said. Eventually, as the dis this discussion continued between the main Singhs, Guru Sahib Ji showed the way forward with regards to choosing the Nawab. At that time, Sangaji, there was a Gursik who was reading Gurbani out loud. Some say a Hukunama was taken, but the Shabad at the time was Tehel Mahal Taako Mila Jaako Saad Kripal. That leadership or Mahaldi Prapti comes from doing Seva. And taking this Bachan of Gurbani as their guide, the Sangat at the time looked towards a Gursik who was standing there doing Seva at the time of fanning the Sangat. A great saint with this Pratap, this aura about them. Very tall, beautiful Singh of the Guru, known to do seva day and night looking after the horses, cleaning the stables, picking up horse excrement with his bare hands. A strong warrior of the Panth. This Gursik Sangaji was called Pai Kapoor Singhji from the Virk family. Kapoor Singh was born in 1697 in the house of Dalip Singh. He was taught Sikh at the house from a young age. He was 11 years old when Guru Gobind Singh Sahib Ji Maharaj left their physical form. And also fresh in his mind were the memories of martyrs, the shahids of Gurdas Nangal and Baba Banda Singh Ji Bahadur, as he was 18 years old at that time. His father would put him through rigorous physical training and very quickly he had mastered the use of shastras such as Siri Sahib, the spear, the khanda and astr like the gun and bow and arrow. 
He also became an expert in horse riding. So Kapoor Singh Ji was a true soldier with great physique, but he also had all the Jange gun. He was a true saint soldier. At the age of 24, he was blessed with Amr Data, Amr Sar Sahib during the Valley of 1721. And he was blessed with Amrit by the hands of the Panjipyari led by Pai Mani Singh Ji themselves. Kapoor Singh was deeply affected when he heard about the great Shahidi of 22 Singhs led by Baba Tara Singh Ji Vaan. He promised to punish the corrupt regime and rallied many Gursikhs together and headed to Amritsar Sahib where they joined the Jatha of Diwan Darbara Singh Ji. In the following years, he had distinguished himself as a brave, successful leader and played a crucial role during the attacks against the regime. In the year 1733, Kapoor Singh was leading a group of Singhs back to Amritsar, where near Ropad they were ambushed by the regime forces. The Singhs under the command of Sardar Kapoor Singh Ji fought with such force that they sent the enemy running for their lives, leaving the bodies of their dead soldiers behind. It was during this ferocious battle that Kapoor Singh Ji was struck in the forehead by an enemy war. This wound was very deep, however, he survived and the Singhs managed to reach Sri Amritsar Sahib. Singh Ji, even now as discussions were taking place about the Nawabi, the same wound on his forehead had not even healed, yet he was at the forefront doing seva of fanning the Sangat. After hearing the Shabd Tehal Mahalata Ko Mila Jago Saad Kripal, Pai Kapoor Singh Ji was called up from doing his seva and he was told to accept this Nawabi. Some sources record this differently. They say that Baba Darpara Singh Ji refused because of their old age and they said, suggested that the Nawabi be given to Kapoor Singh Ji, already proven to be a great leader. But Sangha Ji, all sources state the beautiful response of Baba Ji. Pai Kapoor Singh Ji says that he would not take the Nawabi from the Mughals, but if it is the hukam of Panj Singhs, he would accept it. He placed the Nawabi in the charan of Panj Singh, namely Pai Hari Singh Hazuria, Baba Deep Singh Shaheed, Jassa Singh Ramgadiya, Pai Karm Singh and Pai Buddha Singh. Pai Kapoor Singh said, make the Nawabi pavitr by touching it with your charan, your blessed feet. Look at the nimrata, look at the respect for Panj Singhs. Panj Pujangiyan Charani Shuhai, Taro Sis Mohe Pavitra Karai, Panj Pujangiyan Charan Balapai, Singh Saso Hoi Prabhat Pai He said that with the blessings of Panj Singh, even a rabbit can be made into a share. A speck of dust can take on a mountain. Like a philosopher's stone, dust can be made into gold. The Khasa was pleased with this response. And in the presence of the Sangat, the Panj Singhs did an Ardas and the eight main items that came with the Nawabi were placed on Kapoor Singh Ji. Pai Kapoor Singh was now to be known as Nawab Kapoor Singh Ji for the rest of time. Words cannot describe how royal and beautiful Nawab Kapoor Singh Ji looked at the time of coronation. There was a different type of Prakash coming from their face. Their Pratap, their aura was just truly inspiring. Nawab Kapoor Singh Ji at this point did a Binti. They asked for another daat. They said, Guru Khalsa Ji, you have blessed me with this Nawabi, but please bless me so I continue doing the seva of cleaning the stables with my bare hands, the seva of the langar. Please don't remove me of my hati seva. This was the great nimrata of Nawab Kapoor Singh Ji. Sangha Ji, everything goes back to the bhajan of Guru Sahib. Some sakhya are passed down from generation to generation and not necessarily recorded and it is said that Kapoor Singh Ji was predetermined to become the Nawab. Sangha Ji, when Nawab Kapoor Singh Ji was a baby, only six months old, his father Sardar Dalip Singh took the baby to Anandapur Sahib. And just as we may do these days to ask blessings from our elders, they placed the baby Kapoor Singh into the laps of Guru Gobind Singh Sahib Ji Maharaj. Guru Sahib Ji looked at Kapoor Singh with their blessed vision and did a bachan at that time. Maharaj lovingly said ke eta sada nawab, that this is our nawab. This bachan over 30 years ago, Sangha Ji, is now falling into place as Kapoor Singh Ji was named Nawab Kapoor Singh Ji. Sangha Ji Ratan Singh Ji Pangu beautifully describes the power of the bachan of Guruji. They say that 
ਧਰੂ ਵਿਦਰਤ ਔ ਤਵਲ ਡੁਲਾਈ ਸਤਗੁਰ ਬਚਨ ਨਾ ਖਾਲੀ ਜਾਇ that the earth can shift from its axis the north or south pole can completely move but the bachan of the true guru will forever remain steady and true news of this nawab be spread far and wide and next week we will cover how nawab kapoor singh ji reacted when he was given the nawabi how the panth expanded in such a short time to a number of 70000 and the changes that nawab kapoor singh ji implemented under his new leadership please forgive me for my mistakes lekha kata hai na shuti hai kin kin bolan har baksan har baksan nanak par utar wahguru ji ka khalsa wahguru ji ki fateh